Hey everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to use the Festival by Juvia's Place. A lot of you requested to see me use this palette. So, hopefully I got all the stuff I need out. I even brought out this, the bad gal. And um, it is full blast volume and it's phenomenal. So, I wanted to show that to you guys. I believe this retails for $21 on JuviusPlace.com. They always have combo palette, you know, two or three of them combined for cheaper. But um, I don't think they need to be cheaper because they're just phenomenal. So, let's do this. I'm wearing my No Foundation Foundation by Pericone. And uh, I tried out, I'm trying out the new... Becca cooling under eye. It's tingling a little bit. I can feel it now. And I brought out the brightener, which I'll put on after this. Look at those colors, you guys. I mean, just stunning. I have no other words but stunning. They're just fabulously beautiful. I think they're beautiful. I don't know why you keep turning it that way. It's over here. I don't know why I put it over there. Okay, so there is not like really a neutral kind of, this is good for the crease, but I'm going to put it all over neutral color. I'm going to go in with my white peachy palette, which I happen to love, love, love. Got to smell it first. Oh, love it. Okay, so we're going to go in. And just do it all over just to kind of set my primer and prepare my lids. I'm using a different eyebrow. Um, it is the new physician's formula that I've had. And I've been stuck on the, uh, I think it's the Maybelline, the tattoo one. That one's phenomenal. But I'm like, I need to try this one because it is new as well. So, so if I like it, it takes a wee bit longer and it does not fill them in as much as the other one does. So I have to go, it just, it's much more lengthy of a procedure is all. You use the tattoo one and you just, you get the payoff and the, Fill brows like immediately. So, anyway, let's move on. Super excited to use this palette. Looks beautiful. Okay, so I'm going to go in with Oro right here, kind of right in the middle of my brow. It has the only thing is it has no mirror, which is not a big deal. And I just had my mirror in my hand and I set it down right here in front of my face. Um but it's not a big thing. I mean I'd I'd actually really like if they put a mirror in there but uh if it's gonna raise the price then I'm good. Because I can just hold up another mirror. So it's not a big big deal. So I don't think Juvia's Place gets enough credit because they are um, one of my number one indie brands. They have not raised their prices and I appreciate that because, you know, in this world it's very competitive and they're definitely a smaller brand, but uh, they are really good. So that is definitely like a yellow color kind of doing the crease up so how was your guys this weekend I hope it was good by the way let me know how my lighting is I feel like I am like overwhelmed with lighting I think it's great somebody made a comment about my swatches on the sugar pill palette and basically said that they were no good and that they should go to their channel plus they're doing a giveaway 
I'm like really you know don't don't come on my channel if you're just coming on here to to bash me and be rude just don't and do me that favor otherwise welcome I don't need that kind of crap so anyways now I'm gonna go in with like so difficult to decide so many beautiful shades and I don't know what I want to go with like the red or the orange mm. I'm gonna go in with Manwu and I know I'm probably hacking it I'm sorry but I'm trying right here kind of in the crease Ooh, that's different. A very different color. There is fallout. Um, I'm tapping my brush, but it's not major. Nothing to complain about. Can you see the pigmentation of that, though? How beautifully that goes on there? Ooh, I really like this color. It's super pretty. Almost like a tangerine... It is peachy, but it's got a little like a tangerine effect to it. I like it. Very, very pretty. Hmm. Not too bad. So did you guys watch the Super Bowl? Have a big party? I went to my sister's. It was fun. It was very relaxed. And uh, she had a bunch of food. And we did a, like a questionnaire. It was real. It was cool. I won one of the questionnaires, so I got a um, drink shaker where you make mixed drinks and then little cups you can freeze them in. It's really cool. Okay, so I'm going to go in with... Uh, I'm going to go in with Afala. 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 Kind of in the corner. What I like about Juvia's places, they don't overwhelm you. Like, they don't release 20 palettes in two months. I feel like ColourPop is just like throwing things out left and right. Not giving us, you know, time to enjoy a couple of palettes at a time. My lord. You know, it's just bam, bam, bam. Just dishing them out, you know? Kind of lose interest at that point. So who who here likes the Color Pop Shock Shadows? Cause uh, when I declutter, I'm getting rid of them. I just I do not gravitate to them. I don't use them, and I have a lot of them, and they're just kind of sitting around. And I don't want them to go bad. I know they'll probably it'll take a while for them to go bad. I know that, but. I'd rather have somebody be using them. I just, you know, they're just sitting there. So, anyways, okay, now I'm gonna go with, I'm gonna try and use as much of this palette as I possibly can. I'm gonna go on my lid with uh, Zaffa, the red one. Okay. I'm not a big football person, so I just went over there. I really, we weren't even really watching. Me and my sister were just ch chatting, and it was pretty cool. Had a good time. Good, good time. So today is my late sister's birthday. She passed away a year ago. We buried her on her birthday, which would have been Sunday last year. We, uh, she wanted to be cremated and we buried her at sea. So. This is really pretty. Really, really pretty. Just gonna dampen my brush a little here. And really get a full. 
You know, this would be a great time to use one of my toppers from like Natasha Denona or something with these deep colors going on my lid. I think so. I just might. Might do that. Ooh. Very, very beautiful. Mm. So look how pigmented that is. If you don't like color, you're not going to like this palette. But they do have a nude palette. And, uh, yeah, so they have palettes that are, you know, neutral. So, you can go on their website and check it out if you have not already. I highly, highly, highly recommend them. Can't say enough good about them. The shipping is quick. And uh, they package it real well. I need to blend things together here. Okay, I want to go on the brow bone, but I don't know what color I want to use because these are all very bold. But I think I might go in with... Um, this one on my brow bone, Uli. Let's see how this looks. Ooh, very shimmery. Oh, this would be great for the corner of the eye. Yes, it would. I think I'm gonna do that. I think I shall. That is really, really pretty. I must blend. Let's blend it out. Definitely need to deepen my, my eyebrows. I need to get them done. I was going to do them this weekend, but I never got to it. Something I need to uh, definitely do. Yes. There is fallout under my eye, which is why I did not do my concealer yet. Thankfully, I'm just going to dab it in the inside of my eye. Okay, we're going to go in with some concealer because it's looking pretty bad under my eye. I'm using my Eye of St. Laurent concealer. I got it in the Sephora's Favorites box for Christmas. Which was a good deal because these are expensive. Now I'm smearing the shit everywhere. Holy hell. I look like I'm painting my face red. Okay, now for my beauty blender. Tell me I brought it. Okay, so I am definitely having my beauty blender. I had to run and grab it. Get rid of this redness here. So yeah, beware of fallout. That's all I have to say. Holy crap. Lots and lots of fallout. Was not expecting that. But I guess you gotta be prepared. Okay, so we got the concealer, and now we're gonna go in with the Becca Under Eye Brightener. So the tingling is gone now. But uh, I haven't noticed really a difference. So I'm, I'm gonna hold off on telling you whether or not I think that the under eye gel is worth it. Here's the under eye brightening powder. So far I just don't see a significant difference between this 
or my Urban Decay Velvetizer, or my um, Cover FX, or any of, the, any of the powders, but I'm giving it some trial time, so I want to be fair so I can truly tell you my thoughts on that. As of now, I don't see a difference, but again, you know, I'll give it a little more time. Now I'm going to go under the eye. And I'm going to carry the uh, orange Ofala under the eye. I haven't sprayed any of my brushes. Um, you can if you want more color payoff. But I find with these shadows you really don't need to. So. They're really pigmented and go on pretty much on their own. So let's see. How many colors have I used? So we used these three and then we used uh that one, that one, oh, we used quite a few, but I need to use more. So we're going to go in with, I'm really wanting to use this blue, I hope it turns out good, but you know what? I'm all in. ABBA. We're going to go right in the middle under the eye. Ooh, that's a pretty blue. Very, very pretty blue. Anybody else buying the new Jeffree Star Blood Sugar? I'm excited. I am super excited. I think it looks absolutely amazing. Different. It's different. And... I love the case it comes in. Really, really neat. Always looking for different and unique things, you know? So I'm going to blend the orange in with it a little. Because I kind of just completely covered it. Has anyone else heard of Sydney Grace eyeshadows? Because I watch a YouTuber, she's phenomenal. And she had it on as one of her favorite shadows. And I'm like, hmm, I might try it. There's, they charge $16 for shipping from Oroville, California, which is up north about, I don't know, eight hours. But I'm like, hello, why so much? I mean, if it was coming from, you know, out of the country, I could see, but that's just really expensive. Now I'm going to go in with a dogu. A, a dogu? I know I'm slashing these names. I'm so sorry. Right here. Ooh. That is a pretty champagne color. Can you guys see that? Oh my gosh. These are stunning. Stunning. Wow. I love it. I love it. I love it. It's like a rainbow of colors. Okay, so the only one we did not use is... Out of the whole palette is Kaliki. Which, I'm surprised. I could have put it on the end or whatever, but... It's okay. We used plenty Plenty of other colors, make sure they're blended out well. Ooh, I love it. Okay, so that is it for the shadow palette. Now I'm like debatable. Do I need some eyeliner? Should I go all the way? I am so into these Too Faced Glitter Pop ones. I have Yes Way Rose 
and then I have ghost glitter and kitty glitter. I'm like, hmm, totally going with the ghost glitter. This actually kind of changes color when you put it on with the color you're wearing, which is so cool. I was wearing a deep blue in Vegas and it turned like a deep blue. It was really cool. And they go on so easily. Look at them change color with the... Somewhere in the uh, red. It's turning like a... If you can see it, it's turning like a gold silver. It says you can layer like three times to get like a full effect if you want. So I shall. That's super, super pretty. Ooh. So we're going to layer this on here. I hope you can see. I know my mirror and my hand are all up in the way. And these have been out for a while, but to me they're new. And if you, has, if you haven't used them, then just you can see that they are gorgeous. Gorgeous. And they don't burn my eyelid, which is great because I've had glitter liners that burn the hell out of my eyelid and I have to take them off. So the more you layer, the more you're going to get with the payoff. And I think I've layered this as my third time. Stunning. Look at the color. I love it. Very, very beautiful. I just love how it's just kind of forms to the color of shadow you're wearing. I think it's beautiful. And that is the ghost one. Glitter ghost. Okay, now I really wanted you to see this mascara because it's phenomenal. So, these are my Shiseido curlers. I bought Revlon ones because I lost mine in Vegas last year and the Revlon were just okay. These are so much better. Okay, my lashes are curled. Now we're going to go in with Bad Gal Bang from Benefit. And this is supposed to be like some astronomical, literally. Uh, one of the lightest known materials used in astronaut spacesuits. Aero particles, mass and volume without weighing down lashes, layers easily for bigger and bigger impact. So I just want you to see how well it does there. Because it is really super amazing. I mean, I look like I'm wearing eyelashes and I am not. And that is exactly what I need. Exactly. Because I can't wear eyel fake eyelashes. I mean, look at that. Compared to that. It's like, BOM! That was one layer. Do this side. So beautiful. I, I'm just like, I was instantly amazed at these. At this mascara. I really was. Some just products jump out at you immediately. And this is one of them. Some products you're just like, mm, not sure about that. Kind of like the under eye brightener. So I got a little bit on my shadow. Do that. 
There we go. Perfect. Now we'll put some on the bottom. I always have a hard time getting the bottom. I don't know why. I just do. They're not real long, so I'm like, hello, where are you? And then I end up getting mascara below on my face. It's kind of annoying. But I hope you can really see the, the change with this mascara, how amazing it is. Very beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. Now it says you can layer, so I'm going to go back, even though I really don't need to, and just kind of layer and like, bam. Look how dark those are. Like, oh my gosh. I feel like I'm totally wearing fake eyelashes. So amazing. That is stunning. Oh my goodness. So, yes, this is my new favorite mascara. It blows away the, I think it was the L'Oreal, whoop, and don't you hate when that happens, um, which is still good, but this is just mind-blowing. So, let me just touch up under here, because I know I got a little bit under my eye, and I hate when that happens. Super annoying. And I got on my nose. Got under here a little. Under here. Okay. That's my mop. I'm mopping. I love it. I'm mopping while I get ready. I already, I already uh, vacuumed. Not literally. But anyways. Yeah. So anyways. Now. Let's uh, wipe my nose off. Okay, so that is the mascara. I need a little bit of eyeliner, what do you think? Yeah, a little bit of eyeliner. Dig through my bag. Let's see here. Okay, here we go. That's on my car that Victoria Beckham I spent a fortune on. Um, I'm wondering if I should go with light. Because I'm wearing such a bold color. No, screw it, Matt. I'm going to go with black. And I didn't bring my sharpener out, but oh well. It should be okay. I think my mop is saying either I'm finished or I'm out of water. Okay. This does work really well, but I would not rebuy it. Okay. Now, I want I brought up my Joyer blushes and my Becca highlighter. Let me do my bronzer and then I'll be back. Sorry for all the cuts, but everything else is in my room. Okay guys, I'm back. I wanted to bring my bronzer because I'm using that big bronzer brush from Real Techniques, the real fancy one. And it works super, super good. I mean, I was surprised. Just like a swipe on each side. It's really good. So, it's a little overpriced for drugstore, but I guess they're moving on up with their brush set and uh, maybe you can catch it on sale. I found this one at Walgreens. It's the blue, royal blue one. So pretty. Okay. When I have my beauty room, everything will just be right there. So it won't be back and forth. Okay. 
Now I have the Joyer blushes, and I want to pick one. I'm not sure which one I want to use today. Absolutely stunning packaging. I love these. I swipe them together, and it's just gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Let's see what this one is. This one's really light. Could probably use this as a bronzer. This is not the one I want to use today, though, I don't think. Got a really bright eyelid going, so. Let's see. This is the third. This is that one. So I am thinking this one goes more with my look. So that is the one we're going to act with. So. I brought my 4D brush out here. Concealer and blending. Well, I guess I'll have to use it tomorrow because I forgot to use it with my concealer. So, let me get my brush. It's so organized, right? Here we go. Let's go in. These are great. These brushes are great from Luxie. Or spectrum. I'm sorry. Spectrum. So I just swipe them together. One swipe because they're very pigmented. Beautiful. Beautiful. I have some drugstore brands I'm trying, and I'll show you a review. A lot of them are highlighters. Everybody is coming out with flipping highlighters everywhere I turn around. New highlighter, new highlighter. I'm like, holy crap. Okay, so I'm going to use the Becca Ocean Jewels highlighter, and it was gorgeous packaging. It was very light. But look at how it's like three-dimensional. Kind of really cool. I love it. I think it's beautiful. Um, some people are saying that it feels cheap. I think it feels fine. It is light. But anyways, we all have our own opinion. And that is okay. So I'm going to go in with... Hmm. Let's see. I'm going to go in with this one on the end. It has a name thing, which is super annoying because it falls out. Coral Crystal is the one I'm going to go in with, this one right here. I happen to really like these. I think you get a lot for your money. Um, usually when you buy Becca, you get one. And here, you know, you've got five, and they're a good size. And I think there's a color for everybody. As for me, I go bold. So, it doesn't matter. Now I'm going to go in with this one and this one. I'm going to mix them. And this is my Fenty brush, which I absolutely love. She just nailed it with her line, boy. She did an amazing job. I have all of her, the sticks, the magnetic sticks, and the whole setup. Her foundation's phenomenal. The whole thing. I forgot what colors I would use. There we go. Do a little bit on my nose. Right here. I'm a highlight freak, yes. I don't care. You only live once. Gotta enjoy it. Can't be afraid. Trying to get it above my lip. Okay. Am I beaming? Can you see me from space? Hello. Okay. So that'll do it for the highlight. And I'm going to brush up my cheek a little because I feel like I covered a lot of it. Well, not a lot, but some. 
a little bit, a little, little bit. Okay, and now we're going to set everything with my Patrick Star setting powder that I love so much. And my, this is my Morphe brush, which is one of my favorite setting brushes. I'm getting a heart scan tomorrow that I paid for. Should be interesting. It's supposed to be better than an angiogram. And it's supposed to take like 30 seconds, just like a CAT scan. I'm like, wow, okay. Now mind you, I paid out of pocket for it, so. Do you see any difference under my eyes? Let me know, because I'm very curious. Because if I know, I am not keeping that. I will take it back. But I just, I, I don't see any difference under my eyes. Do they look brighter? I don't know. Yeah, you let me know. So, that is pretty much it. My setting spray from Glam Glow, which is phenomenal. I bathe in it. It's great. Okay, you guys. That is my finished look. I mean, I've not done my hair. I'm not wearing... This is just my after bathtub soaking glory head thing but as for my eye look and the blush and the mascara that is it for today so let me know what you think i absolutely love this palette and i love this mascara and i really think the highlighter is great um, i have a different take on the eyeshadows but i'm still playing with them so i don't want to give you my opinion just yet so, anyways, I hope you guys have a great day. I know I have no lipstick on. I'm going to wear one of my, I think, my um, ColourPop ones. I got to go check it out. So, I will see you soon. If you're new, welcome. Make sure you hit the notification bell. Subscribe, like my videos, and have a great day. Thank you for watching.